4,500 pounds, this little 26 foot Springdale is not a diamond in the rough. Um, I, I don't tend to sugarcoat things when I get stuff in like this. She has seen some things, folks. This is a, uh, a war veteran of an RV. Um, absolutely, absolutely nothing derogatory meant toward the great veterans of our country whom I recommend we all support because they're the ones that give us the opportunity to go camping, by the way. My point is, this RV has weathered a storm or two, uh, just to put it lightly. It has had multiple leaks in multiple locations. Um, I'm not sure if it's a fixer-upper or a starter-over. <laughs> but it's here. It is what it is. I will make no promises on something of this age and this condition. Um, I don't know if it's watertight at this point in time. I don't know if any appliances work. I know that it's got a new awning, because that is a brand new awning that goes on new modern campers. That's an easy tilt finger adjust awning, which is really nice. Um, the awning kit probably costs about as much as the camper's worth, but hey, it's there. Cool. Somebody else did it. Uh, when we step inside here, ooh, windy, gusty day. Uh, the, uh, <laughs> the step is jacked up. The step's all jacked up. You know, I, I'm probably supposed to, pardon me, I gotta walk in backwards so the wind doesn't slam the door. I'm probably supposed to flower it up a little bit more than that and church up my language, but the fact remains the step's all jacked up and that's why you've got that little aluminum step there. Once upon a time, this was a front bed, uh, side dinette, sofa across right there, bunkhouse camper. But what it is today, somebody bought a little fixer-upper, they rearranged a bunch of furniture, did not spend top dollar doing it because I don't blame them. Um, they took the sofa that was here, put it there to create something of a front living room, and actually they opened it up and gave this thing a lot of space that didn't used to be there, which is neat. You look around, it's had leaks. That's what these bands are up here for, to keep the ceiling from bowing down. The front has had leaks. I can see water stains on the walls over here where maybe a window has failed at some point. I can see something similar, I don't even want to know what, going on over there. Again, this RV's not perfect. But, if you're looking for something inexpensive for hunting shack, um, you want to use a trailer like once a year to go to the races or something like that. Like all this wallpaper, none of this is standard. This dark wallpaper was added over the top of whatever else used to be here. This is the standard wall right there. Probably just to cover up some, uh, you know, water damage or something like that. Um, the uh, cabinetry, surprisingly, looks fairly unscathed. I, I am impressed with that. Uh, I don't yeah, this is not the original flooring either. Somebody put this little carpet down on top of what's probably the original laminate flooring. My guess is to hide some uh, water signature stains. Um, I don't, I say hide. I don't mean hide with like ill intentions. I just mean so they didn't have to look at it. That's that's my guess because someone obviously spent some time in here. Um, someone put a, a, a fair amount of effort into this too because at one point I could have seen an insurance company just saying forget it, scrap it. But obviously, somebody saw some, some life in the old girl, and they put some time and effort and money into it. Uh, pretty simple, corner rear bath. Now, instead of the bunks, uh, previous owners, you can see the double window. That tells me there used to be bunks here. They took the bunk out. There used to be a cabinet up there. They took that out. It used to be one bunk and a cabinet over a double bunk. And instead of a mattress, because it's easy, they found a big chunk of foam that they could cut down to whatever exact size they wanted. And it looks like it did the job. So again... Nice little hunting shack. I'm not sure, like I said, if it's a fixer-upper or starter over, but here she is. That's what it is, and that's what it isn't. <laughs> that's just how it boils down. Um, so, if you're still potentially interested, give us a call. 800-256-5196. And if you're not interested in this one, I get it. She's rough. She's maybe rougher than a lot of people want to get into. But remember that I just spent... Let's see, four minutes and 27 seconds telling you how great it isn't. I am a pretty fair and honest place to do business with, guys. Come get, visit Halet RV. We tell you what it is, what it isn't, and we let you decide if it's worth buying or if it's not worth buying. So, if this one isn't the one for you, I've only got 500 other options for you. At least you know we will shoot you straight and you can buy with confidence from Halet RV here in Coldwater, Michigan. So take care, stay safe, have fun, and happy camping, everyone.